all is going wonderfully for you in your life. If you're stressed out, remember you could always take a deep breath, go somewhere and just reset your thoughts for a little bit and it'll fix everything. A little positive tip for the day. And yes, I am in a new area because I have moved to the city. Of course, my location might have changed, but I will still always have a cup of coffee or tea with me in my videos. And it is sad to say that the only one of my stuffed animals that has come with me this time is Sir Sugarcane, but who else would I choose naturally? But yeah, I moved to the city. Guys, this has been my dream since I was probably around 14 years old. I've always pictured myself living here. I've always wanted to be here. I've always been an artsy person. I've always wanted to go into the arts as my career, and there is no better place to do it than New York City, in my opinion. So I am just ecstatic. And I also have to tell you that I am right now filming this video sitting on a suitcase. Yeah, yeah, I told you guys, I wasn't lying. This is um, very uncomfortable on my butt but it's actually sort of a good thigh workout to kind of like keep yourself balanced. So uh, that's a good thing about it, I guess. I do not have a chair yet for this room, at least not one high enough for me to film my videos. And I was going to wait to make this video until I got a chair, but I was way too excited, guys. So either I'm filming this video sitting on a suitcase because I am just so dedicated to my YouTube channel and I love making these videos so much, or I'm just a crazy person. But yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully I don't fall over or fall off this thing. But what I have decided to do was make a vlog of my first day living in the city, walking around the neighborhood, going shopping, just doing basic things. This honestly isn't gonna be the most exciting video, but it was for me because it was my first day here and I've never vlogged before. And lately I've been trying a lot of new things on my channel that I didn't do in the past. I've been trying to push myself outside of my own box. And someone once told me that the best thing to do is to try as many new things as possible when you're a small YouTuber trying to find a niche and a direction for your channel. And lately I've been doing that. So this is my first time making a video inserting clips of me vlogging. So I'm of course not a professional vlogger by any means yet, so I decided to keep this short and sweet and just tell you guys a little bit about my first day here. Okay, so I'm officially exploring my new neighborhood for the first time, so let's go. When I first moved in here, I had nothing but a bed, a dresser, and a desk because I am one of those people where like, I need a desk to work at. I need one. I don't chill on my bed on my laptop. I have to be sitting at a desk. I had a lamp, I had some clothes, and that's about it. So one thing I was missing, which is essential to human survival, is food. So I had to go to the grocery store. So there was a key foods down the street. I think they're very popular in the city. I remember when I was in college, living in New Brunswick, there was a key foods that I would go to. So I Google mapped this thing and I was on my way. is very convenient to where I work right now and where I've been working in the city over the past year so it's really nice I think it's really pretty I was enjoying just walking around it was a beautiful day out and as I was walking I came across this White Castle and my mom's like a fast food addict she's obsessed with White Castle so I to be cute I guess and to kind of show her that I'm still alive and surviving I sent her this little snippet of oh hey look look what's right down the street this White Castle My mom would be happy if she loves White Castle, and that is her dream. And she actually told me this crazy story that apparently my grandparents had their first date at this exact White Castle because I have family um, on my mom's side that actually grew up in the city near this area, ironically. And they looked at the White Castle, they looked at the streets, and they were like, yep, that's the same one. So naturally, I was like, wow, that's crazy. Maybe some things are meant to be. That just kind of blew my mind a little bit. And I thought it was really cute and sweet and interesting. So basically, I'm trying to find key foods right now because I literally have no food at all. So I'm trying to, trying to survive, trying to live, you know how it is. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. I should be there in six minutes. So I finally found the key foods. I had my little grocery shopping list in my head. I went in, got everything I needed to buy, and I walked out with a lot of bags. Now, going food shopping in the city is a lot different than having a car and driving there, obviously. So I was carrying a lot, and I figured I should make a pit stop 
at my apartment before going to my second destination. Okay, so I just finished grocery shopping for the first time in the city. Um, I think I'm gonna go drop things off at home first because it's a lot of bags. <laughs> And now I'm going to go try to scout out my new favorite coffee place because that's mandatory. So I'll be back. Okay, so I just got back from grocery shopping. That was kind of a lot to carry, but it wasn't too bad. So now I'm going to go scout out a new coffee shop that my roommate recommended because I am needing the caffeine right now. Yeah, the audio was a little bit off in that last clip. I don't really know what happened, guys. But yeah, are you really surprised about what my second destination was? I had to find my go-to coffee shop, obviously, so I took the advice of my roommate and she suggested a really cute place that had amazing coffee and also outdoor seating. Two things that for me are extremely appealing, so I made my way to this coffee shop. and it was a pretty hot day so I was feeling a nice coffee that day so I ordered their signature cold brew and honestly guys it was pretty pretty good and I decided to check out this outdoor seating section I mean isn't that adorable I would want to spend all day out there just reading a book and sipping on coffee and looking at nature and listening to music and maybe editing some videos so who knows maybe i'll do that down the road but it was a really cute place and i had a really really nice time there yeah so my roommate was worried about this coffee place it's amazing and adorable um and in case you couldn't tell the cold brew is amazing because i drank that in like two seconds so i guess this is my new go-to place so now I'm about to head to the bank and head back home and uh, yeah, successful first day exploring I would say. Okay, so I know this video was kind of short and sweet. This was my first vlog video, so hey. But as always, I want to end my video on a positive note with a positive message for you guys and that is something I will never stop doing. And I think what I've picked up from my first day and week living in the city technically was that I never thought this would happen for me. I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know if I'm going to be here forever. I don't know if I'm going to be here for only the next year. But there was a time in my life where I thought I could never make things that I really wanted happen for me. I never thought I had the power, the drive, the strength, the ability in general to make these things happen. But it took me a really long time. It took me longer than maybe most people my age to get to this point. But I got to this point because I didn't give up. I didn't stop trying and I want you guys to know that if there's something you really want even if it takes you years just don't give up on it keep going for it and keep telling yourself most importantly that you're deserving of it because you are and if you do get it don't freak out about the future of it don't think okay how do I make it last how do I make it last because that's honestly something I've been doing Focus on the fact that it is something you achieved, it's something you're experiencing now, and that in itself is beautiful and amazing, and something to be super proud of and excited about, and I am excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first vlog of my first day living in the city. Um, as you notice, some of my videos that I have been making recently are still in my old room. That is because I have another job in my hometown as a music teacher and I will be commuting back and forth. So my videos are going to alternate from my city room to my bedroom at home. So I hope that's okay with you guys. It might be fun to switch up locations a bit. And uh, yeah, I had fun sharing this experience with you and I will see you guys next time on Kelly Tree Films.